How do you go? Yu-Gi-Oh! Openings here. So, as you probably see about now, uh, I have a huge-ish box of BB packs, Battle on Battle Brawlers, all that fun stuff. Uh, and uh, there's a total of 150 packs. So, uh, <laughs> to uh, I guess make up for uh, the that one-year anniversary of this channel uh, and me missing it, uh, this will be it. In fact, this will be a two-parter, uh, sort of. Uh, where uh, in this video I will be opening up 150 packs of Bakugan Battle Brawlers and then the next video I will be opening up 50 packs of Bakugan Resurgent which I have right behind me so you guys don't get to see it yet haha <laughs> uh, don't worry I'm not gonna go through every single pack and card of all of these packs and cards uh, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go and uh, just speed run through these, open up all those packs, and then uh, towards the end of the video, I'll just kind of go through like, hey, I got these cards and these hexes and these supers and awesome rares and Bakugan elites. I'm not really going to go over any rares or commons because the RBB, unless it's something like Might of Cindyus. It's like, hey, I pulled like this and this. So without any further ado, everyone, I hope you guys... Uh, Listen to some sweet tunes while I uh, open all these packs. And, of course, there's a big box. <laughs> like, like it's, in case you didn't understand, there's, there's, there's a lot.
supers to the Bakugan Elites that are notable. Uh, although for the Bakugan Elites, I have actually put all of them down. Uh, so for Pyrus, we I was able to uh, uh, pull two Inferno Wings. For Chaos, we pulled two Stand Together, and then a Playset of Pact Darkness for Darkest. Uh, then, oh, and I'm just going faction. Uh, one Strata, two Tiger Reflex, and then for the Awesome Rares, we got four Chaos Titan Elias, two Shun Kazami, Five Ventus Titan Trox, which is pretty sweet. Uh, then for the Bakugan Elites, uh, we pulled one Pyrus Titan Dragonoid, two Arlos Titan Hydras, uh, one copy of each of the Chaos and Aquas Maximus Height Address Ultra. We also pulled a Toshi, which I'm so glad most of the boss, uh, most of the Bakugan Elite are not Toshi. I've had that happen to me before. Uh, we also pulled a playset of Magnus and Darkest, Darkest Titan Elias, as well as two Hyper Ventus Hyper Manson Ultras and two Winton Styles, which is pretty neat. Also, these are the notable uh, Hex Foils. And yes, uh, let me double check again real quick here. Uh, correction, and no, I have pulled some awesome mares as hex foils, but like, they aren't really that impressive. I mean, it was, I think it was like Diamond Maxitor Ultra for the most part. If it was like an Aquas Fangzor, or the Aquas Hyper Fangzor, then yeah, that would be on the video. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, uh, we pulled one hex foil Might of Cindius, which is pretty nice. We also pulled one hex foil Infernal Wings and Mac, both of which are really nice. And then we also pulled a Skies Hem, Gravity Shift, Everett Ray, a playset of Brain Geyser, which is like the worst. Well, I mean, Fierce Termination and Brain Geyser are the worst because, like, you can only play Fierce Termination in a Fury based deck, and Fury decks are, for the most part, not the best. Uh, but at least with Brain Geyser, you won't lose with it. Like, it's a weird kind of way to say it, because uh, if you're able to pay for the cost of it, uh, and you have a low amount of cards in your deck, you know, free draw power. Although, uh, <laughs> with BR being a thing and Quickfire being a thing, uh, chances are your opponent can, if they have Quickfire in their hand, they could just play Quickfire after you finish drawing all your cards. So, 
like at least like it can cut uh it can give you hand advantage in a way but it's still not the best because it's better to stop the damage rather than just draw the cards because although usually draw power is win power drawing too much in this game actually hurts you it's nice to have a full hand but having too many cards in hand unless it's like your turn or the the, the, the turn like for the brawl and you can pay the energy and all that then it doesn't really help you and then, of course, that is, yes, that is three Hexfoil Bakugan Elites. We got Toshi, who I don't want to see, except in this case, because I can use it for my collection. Woohoo. A Winton Styles and Dan Kuza, which we're going to go over. So, what's pretty sweet about this Dan Kuza is not only is he a hex file on the first hex file i pulled um i do believe he is a miscut or i think that's the right term i don't entirely know if it's a, a miscut but when i noticed him and in fact i think the whole pack was like this because i think one the the pack with this guy also had a awesome rare the ventus trox but let me grab let me just grab Winston style. So, if you look towards the bottom here, they're so shiny. You can see that Dan here has more room on the card border. And, of course, if you look where that shininess is, you can see the cutoff. I will not give up this Dan. <laughs> uh, but... Thank you guys so much for sticking with me for oh so long. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also let me know how the new intro look, works out for you guys. You know. But without any further ado, that is a wrap.